So we're in a tropical oak forest in Costa Rica, about 9 degrees latitude north and 7,500 feet up. And what do you got here, Alan? This is an Amanita from section Lepidella. This is Amanita Costa Ricensis. And so this one, it's got like a really powdery underside. So let's look at the underside. That's where it looks really cool. Yeah, it's going. Along the edge of the cap here, you have this appendiculate margin. So this appendiculate margin is the veil remnants, universal veil remnants. So in sections Roanokella, Roanokensis and Lepidella, you got that. But it's really gray. You got a lot of gray colors, a lot of gray veil remnants. So that puts this in section Lepidella. So Amanita Costa Ricensis, really cool species. This mycorrhizal right now with Quercus Costa Ricensis. With these oaks right here. Yeah, there's like 10 different species of oaks in, this, in these forests. I haven't even begun. I don't know if this is Costa Ricensis or Copaiensis or Bromelioides or one of the other ones, but either way, this is this is uh, associating with them. Is this the first time you've seen this? Yeah, first time. Is this this is this one of the death caps or no? Probably not, but some of the lepidellas have toxins that fry your kidneys. So the death caps fry your liver, and these have proteins. Nobody knows what they are. Uh, they can get your kidneys. That's a beautiful goddamn uh, Basidio carp, though. It really is. And oh, look, at it. look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful colors, beautiful, vivid colors, like a purplish gray. God damn it, that's an incredible oak. That's a tropical oak here at 7,000 feet in Costa Rica, grown with palms and begonias and all kinds of tropical genera. Look at that massive aeroid over there, too. Ooh. And there's the acorns. Just a f***ing beast. God damn it, there's acorns everywhere. I guess the squirrels are doing it. Are the squirrels knocking them out? And you look up there at those leaves, and you can see how ecologically important they are. All the leaves are chewed on. All the leaves have little bits missing out of them. So one oak tree supports so much life, so much insect life, which in turn supports so many birds and other critters. And the oaks here got buttress trunks too. Of course they do, because the ground is so spongy and soft and they'd fall over if they didn't. Fucking wild. <laughs> a tropical version of a temperate lineage.